real quick, I just wanted to show you guys some buried barbed wire that I unearthed here. It's really not cool. Um, you know, you wouldn't even notice that unless you happen to be st just stumble upon it. And that is extremely dangerous. You can see more up there and then it's buried. So uh, I've just been keeping it covered here just as a robust barrier so me or Brutus doesn't step on it for the time being until I can get around to uh, yanking it out of there. But not cool because it, it's obviously under the ground here too and then came back. Again, I threw some more stuff here. But up in here you can see some of it's above ground. So I just grabbed some twigs and stuff to just cover it up because because Brutus likes to go down here and, and go poop sometimes. So I just don't want him getting stepped or tangled on that. But that's uh, extremely unethical for a previous landowner to have left something that dangerous like that there. Uh, it's kind of the same way with uh, people put nails in the trees or, or fasten fences on the trees, that kind of thing. But eventually the tree is going to go grow around that nail and cover it up. And then say someday long after you're gone, your grandkids got to chop that tree down. They go and take a chainsaw to it. They can't see that nail that's in there. The saw hits the nail and, and man, you, you really put them into an extremely dangerous situation. I really don't like putting metal like that anywhere where it's not extremely visible. And I even remember it was like 20 years ago. I had a girlfriend that we went to one of her family members houses for a holiday dinner and they had a bedroom that was unoccupied and, uh, but it was still kept nice in that. So when we left, I asked her, well, what was that all about? And she had said that their son was out riding on a snowmobile and did not see a barbed wire fence, ran into it at full speed, right into his neck, killed him instantly, and, and nearly ripped his head from his shoulders. So you really got to think about these kinds of things before you go and put something dangerous on your property like that. Uh, I, I don't even know why it would be here. I mean, there was no infrastructure here whatsoever, but they decided to prioritize putting up barbed wire. The only thing I can think of is it's very near, um, I don't know if you can see in this tree here, uh, a little pink ribbon. This My land is actually two parcels that I bought, and this was uh, the marker for the boundary in between the two parcels. So maybe this being nearby, they were trying to put up some kind of fence or, or uh, something to denote their own property, but... Either way, I, I, I don't care for that. So I'm going to be removing it. And personally, I am never going to use barbed wire out here or any other kind of metal that, that isn't like extremely visible for even somebody who's not paying any close attention because somebody could have been weed whipping through here or the part portion that's buried, somebody could have ran a, a, a tiller or something over it. I mean extremely dangerous. So, so just think about these things before you put something like that on your property.